Hi, Instagram. Hi, Facebook. Okay. I think we are live on both now. So I wanted to jump on here today and talk a little bit about something that has been a real eye opener for me, um, especially because, you know, we are very health conscious and very much, you know, always looking for more healthy options to incorporate in our life, in our home, in our routine, whatever. And we're going to talk about cleaning our fruits and vegetables today. This is going to be a pretty short video and I'm going to kind of just give you guys a little bit of an idea of what we're doing. So first of all, cleaning your fruits and veggies. Why is this so important? So we have so much toxicity in our lives now. And if you're not familiar with reducing your toxic load, this is this is going to be a really big eye opener for you. So another way, this is just another way to reduce your toxic load in your life. Now, a lot of the toxicity comes from our food sources and a lot of people seem to be very amazed at that because why would there be toxins in our food? Right? But it's true. It's true. That's where most of them, most of them come from. Now, what happens is our bodies are not meant to process the amount of chemicals that we are now intaking all the time throughout, you know, our daily lives and especially within our food. So we consume food every day. So whenever we're unaware of where our food comes from or what's in it and just kind of blindly going with whatever we're being fed, literally, you know, we end up sick. And everybody wants to know, why does everybody have cancer? Why does everybody, you know, have an illness, have, you know, an autoimmune disease, like start at the source. So our bodies are not meant to process as that many chemicals. And if you go into most people's houses, they're mostly toxic, right? And just, just in their kitchen, just from the ingredient lists that are on most of the foods. So this is why this is so important. Now, the whole thing is, you know, the more toxins that you can reduce out of your life and, you know, release from your lifestyle, the healthier you're going to be. But a lot of times what happens is people don't realize how unhealthy they are because that's their normal and they've never felt better. So until you feel better, you don't really know that you can have better, right? Especially with what you are eating. Now, what's really cool about this is... This was something that I was totally unaware of. Um, you know, water is a big deal. And I always knew that, you know, there, there had to be better water out there. Of course, you know, we were buying Fiji water. We were buying spring water. We were buying all of these things. And it wasn't really what I thought it was. Now, what I have here is I have strawberries. And they're sitting in what is called Kangen water. And Kevin and I have been using Kangen water for the last three months. And if you guys are in my oil, you know, community or anything like that, you know that like I always like to try things for quite some time before I, I just share it with you guys and um, kind of just throw it at you. <laughs> I always want to see if it works first, right? So, you know, this is kind of what we've been doing and I am totally ready to share this with you all. So what we have here is this is 11.5 pH Kangen water. And I've also added a couple drops of lemon oil to it, or you can use wild orange as well, whatever. They're both really cleansing. So what I did was I put it in, I put the strawberries in the water and I let them soak for about 15 minutes. Now I do all types of fruits and veggies, but I figured this was probably the funnest. Now, what's really cool about this <laughs> is that you can actually see what happens in a time-lapse type of thing whenever you're watching them in your own home. So I have already put them in there just to save us on time so that you guys didn't have to sit here and literally watch them soak for 15 minutes. I have put them in the water already and they've been sitting for a little while. So on top of that, just so you guys know, these are organic strawberries. So of course, you know, we in our house, we only buy organic food. Now, you know, for me, for thinking that, okay, I'm buying organic because I don't want anything on my fruits and vegetables, right? I don't want the, you know, Monsanto stuff. I don't want the pesticides. I don't want to ingest all that. So chemicals, right? Chemicals that our bodies can't digest. So we buy organic. Well, these organic strawberries have probably 
or like strawberries are the dirtiest fruit that there is. And, and most people know that if you don't, um, there's called the dirty dozen and you can kind of get an idea. You can just Google that. Um, and it'll tell you that the, the strawberries are the dirtiest fruit that there is. So these are like the number one most important things to me. Now, the truth is like, you really don't know what's on your food unless you grow it yourself, right? <laughs> like, and in some climates and some, I mean, I, in Pittsburgh, I can't exactly, you know, grow food all year long outside, right? Now we can do a lot of things, but it doesn't always work that way. Now, so some things, yeah, you got to buy at the grocery store. Um, so that's where I get my strawberries. That or the farmer's market, which that season is pretty short, right? So, you know, just be mindful of where your food is coming from and always research the company. That's what I love to do. You know, spend some time on their website. Try to understand their values, their morals to get an idea of what you can trust and what you can't trust. Okay. So they've been soaking for a good 15 minutes. Now I'm going to dump the water out so you guys can see how dirty this is. And it's pretty gross. But the truth is that it tastes better and the food lasts longer. So what actually happens here, if you guys can see this, let's, let's see if I can spill this. Um, what actually happens is the 11.5 pH water is actually able to penetrate under the fruit and the veggies and clean from the inside out. So a lot of times, you know, pesticides and all that stuff that you spray or that they spray on the food, it's oil-based. So it's not going to come off with regular tap water, which by the way, don't do that. But, um, so it's going to need something else, which is also why, you know, adding lemon oil, two drops or three drops to the lemon of the lemon oil to your fruits and veggies helps as well too. Cause oil pulls the oil out, but the 11.5 pH is actually able to get into under the skin of the fruits and veggies and pull out all the crap that's even underneath of it. So what happens is it tastes better and it lasts longer. So I had strawberries last for almost a week <laughs> and before they would last like three days, you know, as soon as you brought them home from the grocery store. So it's really interesting to see how that works. And it works because the Kangen water, the molecules don't have let's just be honest, any crap attached to them. So they're smaller. So they're able to penetrate into not only the fruit and vegetable cells, but our cells as well. This is why they work so well. Now, okay, so this is the stuff that came off of the organic strawberries. And you can kind of see it better on Instagram here color wise, but it's gross. It's really gross. Now we have had like a blue tint come off. We have had green, we have had red. We have had all kinds of colors come off of these strawberries. And it's very interesting. Um, green beans were another really, really dirty one um, that I found, which was very interesting to me. So don't drink, you don't, you don't wanna eat this, right? Like you don't wanna put this in your body. So if you can get around it, why not, right? So now, not only does our food last longer, but we feel better, you know, the food tastes better. It's amazing, it's truly amazing to see what happens. This is just another health tool to be honest. And whenever you are health conscious, like that's what it's all about. Like any health tool that you can get is super important. So now after you have rinsed these, or I'm sorry, after you've drained them, don't rinse them in tap water because that's like just, you might as well just start all over. Okay. Because believe it or not, there's a lot of crap in our tap water too, that we'll get into that another day. <laughs> so, Anyway, so what I do is I just take the common water and just throw rinse over again, and then I'll just eat them, and they're fine. Or you don't even have to. I just do that because, you know, I'm a little crazy about it, but that's okay. So the other benefits, you know, from this, which is really cool, is there's, you know, health benefits that our family has gained from the Congan water has been, like, crazy, and especially in... Um, our little guy who's three, he's very like, he wouldn't drink water before. Um, and now he drinks like a gallon of it a day. So it's pretty amazing to see the difference and how in tune he is to the water. Um, there's also a, you know, it's, it's called 2.5 and this is all out of the same machine. So it's a machine that actually you sit on your counter 
and you select the pH that you want. And I won't go crazy in detail about it, but if you want more information on that, just let me know and I'll get you some information on that. But um, this health tool has been amazing to have because it has completely changed the game for everything, for you know our health and for obviously how clean our fruits and veggies are and just everything. So if you're local and you wanna try these or if you wanna try like the 11.5 with your fruits and veggies, let me know and we can get you some. Um, that's basically what we've been doing for a lot of people because everybody is just so amazed by this. And it's just water. It's just water and some lemon oil. So that's it. So it's pretty amazing. But anyways, I am glad that you guys joined me today. And I'm sure I will be talking to a lot of you about this. So have a wonderful afternoon, guys. And I will talk to you later.